Who does number two work for? Who does number two work for? That's right, buddy. You show that turn who's boss. Well, I'm not sure who number two works for, but I can assure you the five tools we're going to take a look at today are going to work for me. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. So today I purchased another five gadgets for my shop. So let's take a look at these tools and see if any of them work for you. Well today we've got four smaller items and one larger item that I purchased for my shop just to make it a little bit more convenient. And some of these items are really quite unique so stick around to the end of the video to make sure you see all five of these items. Now the first item that we're going to take a look at is an amazing accessory for that beloved impact driver. Now if you're a beginning woodworker and you don't have an impact driver yet, this is something that I would seriously consider getting as soon as possible. You see, for the first year of my woodworking career, I relied on a drill to drive in all of my screws. You see, a drill only provides torque. Well, an impact driver not only provides that torque, but it has a spring-loaded hammer that also provides some compression force. And it's that spring-loaded hammer that makes that rat-a-tat-tat noise as you drive in your screw. So if you're just starting out and you don't have an impact driver yet, go ahead and get one. You'll be amazed at how much this amazing tool makes a difference. But that's enough about the impact driver itself. Let's get into a couple of accessories for this tool that are must-haves for any woodworker. So using an impact driver is not always as easy as one, two, three. Sometimes we get into some situations where our driver just won't fit with that screw. And this is why it's important to get accessories like this 90 degree attachment for the impact driver. Now I've already featured this accessory on previous videos. However, I think this tool is so important that I think it's worth taking a look at again. This accessory makes that previous issue we looked at a breeze to tackle. Even though this tool is a must have, this isn't the gadget we're gonna be taking a look at today. Let's go check out our first item. So we all have elbows, right? Well, this thing takes a lesson from those. This is the gel bow. Let's unwrap this and see what it does. Well, my first impressions of this tool is it reminds me of something, and I'm not gonna say what. Remember this video? But in all seriousness, this is an impact driver extender. Not only will this go 90 degrees, but will actually go a full 180 degrees. So this drill and driver extender can really accommodate any angle. You can hit it at 90 degrees, or you can add a little Viagra and make it go straight ahead. If you add a lot of Viagra, it will go all the way up. So unlike the DeWalt, which is limited to only 90 degrees, the gel bow can accommodate the 90 degrees or anything in between. I also like the fact that it's a little bit longer so it can reach just a little bit further. So the gel bow allows you to really go deep whether you're drilling or driving. You can also use this gel bow with a drill. If you have drill bits with a hexagonal base, you can slide it right into the tip of that and attach your drill. But by far, the best features of this tool are its extendable reach and its range of motion. So if you're having a hard time reaching those tight spots with your impact driver or drill, this thing will do the trick. Well, that covers our first item of the day. Now let's move on to our second item, which is an accessory for all of our chisels and our planer blades. So what's one of the toughest things about owning planes or chisels? Well, for me, it's keeping them sharp. A few years back, I created this sharpening station that has diamond stones for 300, 600, 1200, as well as a strop. And I really like this system. This thing has done wonders for me in increasing my skills on how to sharpen blades. But the problem is, once I purchased these stones, I ended up having to purchase a honing blade. And this honing blade is very expensive. I started off with cheaper honing blades, but these provide no support with a small little wheel. When we look at the more expensive one, you can see all the support that it provides. And frankly, I'd like to get to the skill level where I can actually freehand sharpening these blades. And that's exactly why I purchased this next gadget. And unlike this Veritas honing guide, which costs well over $100 and is well worth the money, this next tool costs less than $7. So what is this next tool? Well, it's the Hold Bubble Sharpening Angle Guide. Let's unbox this and see what it does. So this is about as small as it gets in my shop. This thing looks like a little matchbox car or a Hot Wheel. Hey man, turn that 
time we got kicked out of biology for playing with matchbox cars? Yeah! Second bank! Get out! If we look closer at the tool, you can see there's angle markings for 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, and 15. If we flip the tool around, there's magnets on the other side. This allows it to attach to metals, specifically your plane blade or your chisels. So how exactly does this angle guide work? Well, let's look a little closer. So first off, there's a little level in the center of the tool. The next thing that we need to do is to open the tool. Once the tool is open, we can then set our angle by moving the gauge to the desired angle. In this case, I'm gonna go with 35 degrees. Once the tool is set to 35 degrees, we can then turn the tool around and place it on our blade, and it clamps right onto that blade. And you can see the level now comes into play. And it's that bubble in the middle of the level that really gives us a visual representation of how we're holding our blade. If that bubble is directly in the center of the level, you know that you're holding your blade correctly. So by making sure that that bubble is directly in between the two lines, we then can begin to sharpen our blade. But not only will this work for plain blades, but you can also use it for chisels. By looking at your level, you can make sure that your starting angle is appropriate. And you can also stop it along the way just to make sure that you're continuing that angle. Now theoretically, you can use this sharpening gauge to sharpen your knives as well. But since this is a woodworking channel, we're gonna to stick to plain blades and chisels. So if you don't wanna spend a lot of money and you're getting into freestyling the sharpening of the blades in your shop, this can be a great tool to give you that visual confirmation that you're at the right angles. And for under $7, this really is a no-brainer for somebody like me. I'm getting into hand tools and this will allow me to really dial in my angles and make sure that all my sharpening techniques are getting better over time. Well, that covers two items so far. Before we move on to our third, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and leave a comment. It really does help out this small woodworking channel. Also, for any of the tools that we're taking a look at today, I'm gonna leave links in the description below so you can go check out those tools for yourself. Now let's go check out our third item. So this next gadget is one that I know I need. So do you have items in your shop that you lose over and over again? I know I do. Maybe it's your tape measure. Where in the hell did I put that thing? Or your drill press key. I just had it a minute ago. Or maybe that dust collection remote. I guess I'll just leave it on. You see, I used to lose my keys in my wallet all the time, and I used to have to ask my wife to help me search for these items. And that's until I discovered the magic of the air tag. And nope, it's not a mole on Michael Jordan's neck. This little round device, I'm sure you've probably seen it, is an air tag. This allows you to track your devices wherever they may be. It also allows you to find them if you've lost them around your area. So what use is an air tag in our shop? Well, that's what this next gadget is about. This next item is a retractable air tag keychain made by Luigex. So let's open this up and see what it's all about. So inside the box comes the retractable keychain along with a screwdriver. The screwdriver is so that you can secure your air tag firmly to the keychain. Once you have that air tag installed, you then can attach it with the carabiner, the regular keychain holder, or the badge holder. The keychain portion of this item is fully retractable, so if you have a use for that, you can use it for that as well. So let's give this keychain a test and attach it to one of my most lost items, my dust collection remote. So the nice thing about the AirTag is you can find it just like you would find your phone using the Find My iPhone app. This app will point you to the direction and the exact location of wherever you misplace that item. Not only that, but you can also play a noise on your AirTag. This will allow you to use your rarely used echolocation to find that item. And there she is, right where I left her. So if you're like me and you're wasting your time spending 15 to 20 minutes trying to find that lost item that you literally just had in your hands 15 to 20 minutes ago, this may be the item for you. But knowing me, I'll probably lose my phone too, so I'll still have a hard time trying to find that item. Where the hell my phone? Where the hell my phone? Well, that's three killer items so far. Now let's check out our fourth item, which can be used in our shop or in our house. So our fourth item today is all about seeing those minute details that can sometimes be hard to pick up with your eyes. You see, I envision using this tool in two ways in my shop. The first way is to increase my precision and accuracy with my tools. The second way is to allow me to see those minute details when I'm going to finish a project. 
So what exactly is this tool? Well, let's go grab the box and see what it's all about. This is actually a two for one, so you get two for the price of one. So this little box contains two LED rechargeable LeMaytech flashlights. Let's open it up and check it out. So this is what comes in the box. It comes with two chargers along with the two flashlights. Now the nice thing about these flashlights is they are foldable and you can adjust them in any way that you want. So these flashlights have three settings. There's the bright setting, the dim setting, as well as a pinpoint setting that's at the very end of the flashlight. So a couple things about these flashlights. Not only are they very reasonably priced at two of them for less than $20, but they also fold up so that you can place them right into things like your apron. So how are we gonna be using these in our shop? Well, let me show you what I'm gonna be using them for. So you may remember from a video I did a while back that I purchased a Powertech straight edge. Now this thing is accurate to one one thousandth of an inch. Therefore, if there's any variance, I should be able to see it if I put a flashlight behind it. So by placing my flashlight behind this straight edge, I should be able to tell if there's any variance in my workpiece. If I lift my straight edge up, you can see that light shining through. This can be great for when you're setting up tools and you need to make sure that you're at a perfect 90 or perfectly straight. Not only that, but we can also use a flashlight like this when we're doing our finishing and sanding. Let me show you what I mean. Now hopefully this shows up, but when we apply a flashlight to our workpiece, this accentuates any imperfections with shadows. This means if you need to sand any particular area just a little bit more, this will show that area. You can also get rid of things like pigtails with this light. But not only can we use this flashlight for those two woodworking purposes, but with its adjustable neck, we can shine it up on anything that we need to get underneath to shine some light on it. And the fact that these are rechargeable and you never have to purchase any batteries, and you can get two of these for less than $10 a piece, these are a no brainer in my opinion. Well, that takes us through four items so far. Only one more item to take a look at. Now this next item is just a little bit bigger. Let's start to talk about it. So for this next item, I didn't you know what. I actually went to Harbor Freight, believe it or not. In order to show you why I purchased this item, we first need to take a look at some of my hardware storage solutions. So these are some of my hardware solutions. I've got this Milwaukee case that has these little boxes that I can easily lose. I've also got this amazingly overpriced Craftsman plastic container. And I've also got this DeWalt case that has a nice storage solution with these drawers that pop open and close easily so that you can easily access your hardware. But if we take one of the larger boxes from those storage containers, you'll begin to see my dilemma. You see, I buy in bulk, and there's no way that these large containers will fit into one of these small containers. And I obviously purchase in bulk because the per unit cost goes way down when you purchase quantities like this. So what is this next item that I bought at Harbor Freight? Well, let's go check it out. Oh! So this is the 24 bin bench top parts pack. Let's open it up and assemble it all together. So this installation wasn't very difficult. All this is held together with nuts and bolts, so it's very secure. If we take a look at the bins, they're 10 inches deep, four inches tall, as well as three and a half inches wide. So this should give us plenty of room to fit our hardware. And I've got one of my fuller bins here, so let's see if this container can hold all these screws. And you can see here, this container can hold all those screws with some room to grow. And I also like the fact that these containers are removable so you can take the bin to wherever you're working. Now, if I had any complaints about this storage unit, I wish they would have made these containers just a little bit more rigid. Now, only time will tell and you kind of get what you pay for. This thing wasn't that expensive. So I've got some work ahead of me filling up these containers and getting it all organized. Well, that's going to do us for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed seeing these five new tools for my shop. I know I enjoyed showing them to you. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and leave a comment. Until next time, take care as always.